Hi, my name is Marie Tomaso, and I'm a PhD student at Texas State University. Today, I will be talking about the work that my team has done this summer for the Critical Infrastructure Resilience Institute for the Department of Homeland Security. So our work is investigating blockchain or distributed ledger technologies for the United States Coast Guard. When most people hear blockchain, they think of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ether. But recently, more industries have been embracing blockchain as a way to enhance uh, their supply chain visibility, automate certain financial processes, or validate digital ownership. Uh, so essentially what we're doing is we're looking at the utility of blockchain technologies for use by the United States Coast Guard. I'll start with a little bit of background. D uh, DLT is a decentralized system of accounting in which every participant maintains a full copy of the ledger and all ledgers are kept in sync via a consensus mechanism. Blocks store sets of transactions. The blocks are joined by cryptographic links which prevent tampering with past transactions. The entire ledger is made up of these linked blocks, hence the term blockchain. An asset is any currency or object maintained by a DLT. Smart contracts are another extension of DLTs. They provide a mechanism to automate certain transactions fairly. An example of this would be agentless escrow, in which instead of having a third party manage an escrow account, uh, a smart contract could manage it for the two parties and no third party would be involved. The early DLTs used for cryptocurrencies were permissionless, meaning that anyone could, could join and contribute. Um, with the enterprise applications, we mainly see permissioned blockchains where each user has to receive permission before they can join. This maintains a higher level of trust, cuts down on electricity usage and consensus finding, and uh, it eliminates some security issues. So we have four main findings. The first was the choice of platform that we're recommending that the Coast Guard use. Uh, we've surveyed a lot of different platforms and we recommend that they use Hyperledger Fabric. We found it to be the most popular platform since 2018 in Enterprise Solutions. It also has the highest percent of market ready projects. And uh, in a survey that was conducted in 2021, Hyperledger Fabric ranked the highest among 24 DLT platforms for its scalability, interoperability with existing software, ease of use, security, and community availability. Next, I'll be going through three different use cases that we've looked into for this, this technology for the Coast Guard. The first is seafood traceability. So the problem is illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing threatens sustainability, food security, and the livelihoods of coastal workers. DLT has been proposed as a way of increasing visibility within the supply chain and validating the provenance of legitimate seafood products. We have been looking into the IBM developed food trust, which is based on hyperledger fabric to um, enhance traceability in food supply chains. It's currently being piloted with Walmart, Nestle and Unilever with promising initial results. Our second use case is inventory management systems for aircraft spare parts. Uh, the problem is that aircraft spare parts management requires extensive record keeping to ensure that all parts are safe and airworthy to the point where these operations are not scalable because it requires so much paperwork and so many people to process each listing. We found a solution where Honeywell has implemented a blockchain based market called Go Direct Trade. The blockchain allows them to automate a lot of the record keeping which makes their website more scalable than anything else on the market. Use case three is counterfeit detection in pharmaceuticals. The problem is up to 10% of the world's pharmaceuticals are counterfeit, which poses serious and sometimes legal risk, risks to patients. Additionally, the issue is compounded by a fragmented supply chain, which makes recalls more difficult once a fraudulent drug has been identified. We're looking into MediLedger, which is also based on a hyperledger fabric, as a system to allow patients and health officials to track drugs throughout the supply chain to ensure that they are authentic and safe. It's currently being tested by Gilead, Bayer, and Pfizer with promising initial results. So in conclusion, we have found that this technology it holds some promise for helping the missions of the United States Coast Guard. We have summarized our reports, including a more extensive look into all of the use cases and the current technologies available and a much more detailed explanation of our choice of platform. That is my talk. Thank you for your time and have a good day.